They're called the Goat Squad. Every year, the city of Stillwater purchases 23 goats to clear brush and ditches and rights of way where it's too dangerous to send men and equipment. It's such a popular program, the goats have their own Facebook page and draw an audience wherever they go. Photojournalist Tim Carson caught up with them doing what they do naturally. I've been doing this pro uh, program for about, uh, this is our fourth year. And so basically we purchase goats um, at the beginning of the season, usually around the start of spring, and we get the herd of goats and we move them around place to place, uh, usually park, park areas, ditches where um, we can't mow, you know, the steep, steep inclines where we can't get mowers down there. So the goat, what the goats do, we'll, we'll pin up the goats for maybe about a couple of weeks at a time. They'll eat the grass and, you know, eat, chop it down and, you know, get it down to a good level. And then once they do that, then we move them on to the next park. So we got, we got some parkland where we've got some creek beds where there's tall weeds, tall grass and that type of thing. And they just go after and that's what they do. They eat, they pretty much eat all day and just move them around place to place. So they'll eat leaves, they'll eat the, they'll eat the dead leaves, they'll eat dead grass, they'll eat grass, they'll eat poison oak, poison ivy, that type of thing. So, you know, places where um, humans don't really want to get into and touch, the goats will just eat the, eat the poison ivy and poison oak right up. So that's usually a plus too. The idea was kind of like, oh yeah, right. But, you know, basically, you know, we tried it out and it really worked. Um, so we, the first two years, I believe, we, we started uh, getting goats from Langston on loan. And then once the, the program kind of became a success, successful program, then we started purchasing goats e each year. We do have a Facebook page. It's the City of Stillwater Goat Squad, and they can go in. And that Facebook page is up to date um, where the goats will, may be. And uh, we usually keep that updated to, to let the public know uh, where the goats are going to be at. Not using lawnmowers and using goats, it saves money on fuel costs for lawnmowers. It saves money on maintenance on on, uh, on lawnmowers and you know trucks and that type of deal. And it also saves money on personnel because you don't have personnel going out to manpower. Mm -hmm, manpower. So uh, it's it's a big uh, cost saver for the city. And the kids love them, yes. And sometimes we sometimes the streets will be backed up a little bit with traffic, but. Uh, the neighbors have gotten accustomed to it, and a lot of times the neighbors will actually call us and say, when are they coming to our neighborhood? Because they're ready for them. 